yes. Madam yes. President, yes. on the line. Anybody in agreement? Yes. Yes, yes. no dissenting. Okay, so going forward. <coughs> so how, that's yeah, it? You're good. Okay, all right. So, new business. Any new business? I have some. Okay. Really, just quick announcements. Um, uh, in the next coming school days, whether it be tomorrow, Monday, or Tuesday, uh, the high school seniors will get, their families will get a letter from the uh, principal laying out the uh, graduation and how PHS is going to handle that. Uh, subsequently, right after that, the middle school parents will get information from their principals about the middle school promotions. Uh, a reminder, I forgot in my superintendent's report, June 8th is all remote for students and staff. It's election day and the elections will be held in nine of our buildings. And if anyone um, heard the news today about any mask restrictions being lifted, just know that our uh, district is, is, uh, takes these things very slowly and safely. So there will be no change in the masks requirements as such. Um, and we will take it uh, on a weekly basis and make our decisions uh, accordingly uh, with safety at the forefront. Dr. Anelli, a quick question for you for 6-8 uh, election day, a meal distribution? How yeah, so, so typically if there's a day that we miss, we'll double up on the, on the, the one before that. Okay. Yeah, so okay. We'll, we'll make sure we take care of that. Okay, wonderful, thank you. Yeah. Uh, and in terms okay. of, oh, I'm sorry. No, no continue. Go okay. ahead. Ms. Uh, a few points of new business. Uh, I am proud to serve not only as the board's vice president, but I am also uh, the delegate to the New Jersey School Boards Association Delegate Assembly. This Saturday, they are hosting their meeting virtually. Uh, we're at this meeting. The following two resolutions are up for vote. Uh, and I'll read these to you. Uh, the school districts, their boards put forth these resolutions, the first of which is an important one. Uh, the South Orange Maplewood Board of Education in Essex County proposes revised policy language to express the belief that it is important to cultivate inclusive, affirming, and welcoming school communities that contribute to the overall safety, pedagogy, and school climate, and to support and work with board members and school districts to create greater awareness to ensure continued safety, support, student engagement, and implementation of best practices and policies of all students, including those who are perceived as being lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, or questioning, or who are LGBTQ+. That's the first resolution that's up for vote. The second of which is the NJSBA, Special Education Committee proposes new policy language as follows. The NJSBA believes that trained non-lawyer parent advocates provide a valuable service to parents and students. Mandatory training of non-lawyer non -lawyer parent advocates is essential to protect the interests of parents, students, and districts. Training for parent advocates should result in an understanding of the appropriate role of a parent advocate, as well as the requirements of federal and state special education laws and regulations, IEP development, and conflict resolution. Training should be ongoing, and the state should provide funding for such training. So those are the two resolutions that are up for vote this upcoming Saturday, where I'll be serving as the board's uh, delegate to that assembly. Um, do any of the my fellow board members have any commentary or any input? All right, thank you so much. That's all that I have for new business. Thank you. And, and thank you, uh, Kimberly, for taking on uh, that, uh, that position. I appreciate it so much, and I know uh, it's taking up your day on Saturday, but those issues are very important, and thank Indeed. you for being there for us. My pleasure to serve. Thank you. Mr. Johnson. Right. Ms. Lane, can you also forward that, uh, if you don't mind, forward the link for that? The link to oh, the yeah. forward the link? Yeah. yeah. The, yes, thank you so much. Yep. I think we did get it, but... Yes, yeah. I just want to make sure I had it. Okay. I can do it, Ms. Lane. I have it prepared. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Oliver. Um, Dr. Nelly, in terms of what we were speaking in terms of the mask, I'm glad you, you mentioned that because I, I noticed some confusion over that. And, you know, people will rush in the morning, and so you have to deal with a lot. One of the things that came up, um, the, the directive I sent you an email along with Mr. Rubin, he explained it to me well. But um, is, there, is there a little more clarity on the, if you're in school five days in the absentee? Because from what I understand, it's still the same as it was, but it, it has caused sort of a little hysteria because people didn't read it well. 
Yeah, so, um, uh, you know, up, up to now, and, and, and I, I don't think you're right. I think it's, it's different than it was, right? Okay. It's, a, it's a different directive that we're, we're allowing, we're telling the teachers to do, and we're, we're uh, making sure that the kids are accountable for being in school. You know, so, it, and let me, let me start by saying the, the exception to this is if there's any exceptions or anything that warrants a good reason, we always make exceptions, right? We always okay. take families into consideration. We always take kids into consideration. Um, basically, what Mr. Johnson is talking about is we made the, the determination that Monday, the 17th of May, we'll be coming back five full days, whoever uh, is choosing to be in person. There's no chance for hybrid anymore. There's no chance. I mean, if you're coming back in person, you're coming back five days. Um, and previously, while in hybrid, if it was a day that you were supposed to be in school and you woke up tired, you stayed home, and it was fine. You just logged on, and it was okay. Um, you know, I, I personally, right, and, and a lot of what you trust in me is how I look at things educationally and philosophically about not only Piscataway, but society. Uh, I personally don't think we're doing any good for kids by saying, well, if you wake up tired or you're not feeling that great, just stay home and, and log on, and it's okay, right? Uh, I think we're, we're creating, further creating, right, uh, situations where kids can you know, uh, abuse some of the you know, rights that they have or, or uh, allowances that they have. So, so basically, if, if you go to the doctor the night before and you have something going on and we know, you know, email the teacher, right? And, and they'll, they'll, they'll still mark you absent, but they'll let you log on, right? If you wake up and you're tired, go to school, right? And, and that's how we feel. I mean, I, that's how I feel. If you all direct me differently, I will make that announcement. But I really feel if we're going to hold kids accountable, we need to be, it's, it's about five and a half, six weeks of school left. So if they're in five days, they should be in five days. If not, they'll be marked absent, which they have eight absences to play with, you know, through the year. So that's, that's, that's the difference in from before with hybrid to now coming forward with the five days. Okay, that, that's the area that I was a little concerned with. If there was a, a rational reason that you would still be able the ability Absolutely. to log on. No question about it. Initially, it didn't, it didn't read as though you had that ability that you were just going to be marked absent. But if you, yeah, well, as we, we know, always do with, get over with every decision that we make, okay. we take care of people who need to be taken care of. Right? Okay. This, is to, this is to combat the kids who just want to abuse the situation. Okay. D Dr. Rinelli, just, cause I, just to pick up on a question that Mr. Johnson had asked me, m my understanding is that you know, before COVID hit, the expectation is you would be in school. We have a policy that talks about excused and unexcused absences. Um, my understanding is by reverting back to what we're doing here, the expectation is that if you're choosing to be an in-person student, you will be in school. The same excused and unexcused absences remain under our policy. Um, and as I understand it, you know, no more, no less. Yeah, you're exactly right. No, um, Dr. thank you. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, sir. I was just gonna ask like, um, so now that we're going full time like five days a week. I was wondering if like maybe we were thinking about implementing like a few days that are like wellness days because I know some colleges are implementing that and I was wondering if we were thinking about incorporating that because that could be helpful for kids. You yeah, know, that's a good idea. So when, when I meet with principals and I do that often, if there's a, and, and I say if there's, like, there could be a need for many different kids, right, to do that. Um, you know, we could work some of those things into the day. And I know a lot of colleges, my son had two this semester, mm -hmm. no spring break. Yeah. Right, but they built in two, two wellness days. Um, and the wellness days were just, well, you're off. You don't have to come to school, right? Um, but we do a lot of activities for, for mental health and for social emotional learning. And if I, I know if, if teachers or kids or counselor, I mean, or, or administrators or counselors see the need for that, you know, they address it. But I'll talk to the principals about that okay. more. Yeah, thank you. All right. And uh, lastly, too, I want to thank you, Dr. Lilly with helping the student reps. Um, the student reps have really shown that they've taken an active voice in representing the students. And it's very difficult to sit there and talk to adults and be treated like an adult and not treated like a child. And I like the fact that you worked with, with them along with the principal mm -hmm. to work out ideas as opposed to just dismiss them. And uh, I appreciate the fact that they just reported this week that they've actually taken those steps mm -hmm. to meet with the principal and they've met some resolutions in some of their areas. So th that, that's a great, tremendous area and I'm hoping we continue that type of support 
for all students. Yeah, so as Anaya moves up to senior, um, you know, she knows the gig right now, right? Um, I, and I think a lot of it is, is uh, rests on the fact that many people just aren't aware of the process. Mm -hmm. Right, a lot of the things that, that they brought to us are very valid concerns, but who did they bring it up with? Like, what steps did they take? Mm -hmm. It's just like a parent, uh, you know, hearing something from their, their son or daughter at school and they call me right away. Mm -hmm. Well, did you call the teacher? Did you call this parent? You know, did you? So it's just like a process, and, and everything they say is valuable. They have a, a, a much greater touch on what's going on in the high school than I do. Right, so the information is really important. And Mr. Baldassano and I and all the other principals, we talk uh, all the time about things that, that the kids bring to them. So I appreciate uh, you, you, you seeing it that way. Yeah. Oh, Dr. Rinaldi, I was actually gonna ask something related to that. Like, what is the process like so far? Because I know like Tim and I have brought up like the homework issue a few times like to us. And I was wondering like what has like improved with that? Like has there been steps taken to like, like he, was, he rose like, um, how assignments that were assigned that day are due like that night and I was wondering like if we have rules implemented for that and like what have what has improved so far so I can't sit here and say I know what's improved in the classrooms I guess I guess Tim and I would have to you know let, let me know or, or that um, but uh, Mr. Baldassano after they give the report I talk to him, right, okay. and I call him the next day and I say, what's going on here, can you check into this? Um, and I hope that there's some relief. I haven't received any call, any calls from parents. Uh, you know, Tim and I report that there has been some changes, uh, although the assignment that was due, whether it was today or yesterday, only had three hours. Um, my kids go through the same thing, right? Some teachers, their philosophy is, well, I'm gonna give this homework and it's due tonight, right? They don't have a vision of what else the kid has to do. So um, we try to make that happen, um, but in all honesty, when he takes the very next step at Dartmouth, they're not going to care what he has the next day either, right? Or what other things that he has, what he has going on. So in essence, it's, it's getting ready, but we don't want to put too much pressure. But we, so finding that balance is, is difficult, right? Yeah. Not, not allowing too much pressure to be put, but also finding the balance to where the kid is understanding, the students are understanding, there's pressure to do work and I have to get it done. And honors classes and AP classes, you're, you're getting more of a weighted credit, so you should be doing more work, mm -hmm. right? There should be more of an expectation for you, whether it be over the summer or during the year or things like that, so. Um, everything that we do in schools, and again, I've been in a few different ones, uh, is designed to get kids ready for the next step. And some of the school things are, well, I'm looking for the right word, are, uh, uh, unrealistic's the wrong word, but maybe a little outdated, and we work to try to fix those things, and their input is really important for us. Yeah, okay, thank you. Anything else? <coughs> okay, there being nothing else, can I have a motion to adjourn? Motion. 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 Second. Motion. Motion. <laughs> second. <laughs> and second by. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Another one of these I've got about. We're now adjourned. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you all for being thank here, you. community. Thank you.